So in considering how to stabilize a single line lift kite uh, parafoil type, I've looked at adding a small weight on, um, I've got a, a sort of pyramidal bridle here, and in various ways I've been able to shift that weight a bit. Now you can see um, as it's tilted over to the right hand side here, that weight uh, situated at, as it is slightly toward the back is putting most pressure uh, most of its force is held by that rear point there, so that's going to deform downwards slightly more as compared to the rest of the kite. Now, depending on the response of the kite, that's either going to send it more um, upward like that. Unfortunately, in the, in the case of one of the other kites I've got, that would work opposite. It. This is the response we're looking for, that um, that balance would throw it back to the vertical. That's the case we're looking for. We're always wanting um, gravity steering the parafoil instead of the wind direction steering the parafoil so that it's taking to going upwards. Now, oh, that weight is slightly off center there, isn't it? Um, that should be in the center of the kite. Right. Now, let's tilt it off to the side. You should see that works the other way over there. So um, that's our sort of a, a launch position possibly. Um, and once that line settles down, most of the yeah, most of the force is on that side again. And now with a lot of a lot of uh, long span kites, more more force on that will make it rise upwards. So that's the the response we're looking for there. So that deformation would bring us upright back to yeah, back to this kind of position. We can play about with if we grab the whole lot, the, the positioning of the the weight as well and the relative sizes of it and such. So here with you can have a lot more uh, action on the front line, uh, yeah, less of a action on the back line, less of a difference implied between them. Well, there'll still be the difference left or right, I suppose, but it'll be more evenly spread across the two the two of the side. So you'll see both of these are going to be slightly pinker than what's on this side. I'll just adjust the balancing of where that pink point is. There you go. You can see them come in there. And that pinkness, the redness in here indicates um, the amount of strain in the line applied there.